So this is the ontological argument in brief, and this is really attributed to St. Anselm of Canterbury, and it follows deductive reasoning. For example, um, all men are mortal, I am a man, therefore I am mortal. And what it does is it uses the concept of God being the greatest thing we can imagine, and states that because God is the greatest thing we can imagine, then he can't exist purely in our minds, he has to exist in reality as well. Anselm said, God is that than which nothing greater can be thought or nothing greater can be conceived. So by definition, God is the greatest conceivable being. If he only existed in our minds, then he wouldn't be the greatest. Therefore, God exists. That's the argument, the ontological argument. Of course, it depends wholly on the definition of God. If you were to take any of those attributes away, any of those omnis away, this whole argument falls apart. Now, um, it's a pretty straightforward argument, but we can pick holes in it, and that's what I want you to do in class today. I want you to be able to explain this argument in your own words, but then I want you to come up with some uh, counter-arguments, and then counter-counter-arguments. How might people argue back and forth with the ontological argument?